Mm. <laughs> shit out of there. G'day guys, Galvan, Archon Company in New Zealand. We're going to talk today about these things. One UZ VVTI throttle bodies. It's gonna be really noisy if I put it on the bench. Quiet. Uh, and we're going to talk about the throttle lock. Alternator. That's a 3UZ alternator. Yeah. And they fit onto the non VVTIs as well, the early engines. They all interchange. That's not it, guys. This is a throttle body. That's an idle speed control unit. The reason we've got an idle speed control unit is we see guys saying they're having a problem with their throttle bodies. Early throttle body. And this one goes with the early throttle bodies. And so they say, well, you've got an idle speed control unit, but it's. Screwdriver. Drive by wire. <laughs> throttle body. See the problem I have? Sack the cameraman. Jason actually thought I was sick the other day because I was loading up my camper van and I took some engines away. You right there? Not very, very bent rod. So anyway, I, I was taking my some stuff away in my camper van and he thought I was sick. He was worried about me with this global pandemic shit that's going around. And he thought I should get tested. But I returned with more stuff than I went away with. I uh, have five manifolds and two boxes of stuff there. Some guards. Yeah, guards, yeah, and a bumper. And a bumper with a front lip. Saw a front bumper. Oh, and some lowered springs and shocks oh. for a saw. I, I got quite a bit. So he thought I was okay after that. Oh, and another vehicle parked there over there. Yeah, and a very, very cool Land Cruiser turned up that hasn't been running for a long time. That's for another video. Today, we're going to look at these throttle bodies. And the reason I'm doing this is there is a man doing a jet boat. It's bought a, a cheaper version of ECU. And we're going to do a lockout on his throttle body. And then another man rung up, and I'm going to look at that one as well. And I've been trying to get this one done for quite a while and it decided to rain. It's gonna sound like a tin shed, but I'm just gonna hammer on anyway, unless it really comes down super, super heavy. So very quick review. This is an early non-VVTI throttle body with an idle speed control unit that looks like that. So they're the matching pair. That one can be rebuilt. I've done a video on that. These can be modified. This is off old yellow, so that's this is a 3UZ throttle body. Different bolt pattern to that one. This is a full drive-by wire in every sense. It's got an accelerator pedal elsewhere. It's got a small motor and it's got the throttle position sensor and it's all electronic. There's, there's no cable, nothing on there. Okay. That has the same bolt pattern. as this one, the, the 1UZ VVTi. And this is gonna be the feature of today's discussions. Once upon a time, we couldn't get the parts for them easily, so this one was a, a rated one. I, I probably had a bit of a brain fade and I pulled apart a perfectly good one. So another day we will have a video of assembling a VVTi throttle body and actually setting it up properly. Especially now I've got quite a few spares. So let's have a look around the throttle body. We have this piece, which is the APS or accelerator position sensor. It's where the cable goes on here. And then it's got five volt and an earth and two signals going back to the ECU. There's your bleeder for the cooling system, that Allen key. On this side, there's your TPS. Again, five volt and an earth, and two signals going back to the ECU. Different TPS, different configuration in the way that it works to the early TPS. If you interchange them, you will have problems. 
So first I'm going to take off, oh wait actually, we did, it. We did it do this. So with the APS, you'll notice here I can turn the throttle and the butterfly is not opening. Until it gets to about three quarter and then it opens. But in reality, the ECU is controlling the motor, which opens the throttle body seamlessly. So these gears in here never actually touch. So we're going to pop the APS off. And you'll see it also, it's kind of got a little bit of spring loading there. Remember that for when we're putting it back together. Right, so this will slip off. Really easy. And then we're actually going to fit up this little throttle lock. Now these don't work with standard ECUs, okay? They will not work. We just take the little throttle lock and we pop it in like so. So we look at which way this turns. Do, 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 right, okay, so we've got it turning the correct way. Then we have this piece here. We sit it in. And again, there's that little turny piece. Screw that on, and now watch. It is driving it directly. Now if you don't get it right, it will do this. Let's see if I can make it do it. See how it isn't opening all the way? That's when it isn't quite sitting in correctly and you won't get your full throttle. So when you're fitting the throttle lock, it will still work if you put it around here on this piece here, but you actually want it to sit against this piece down in here, that little, the flat piece where it sits nicely. So you sit that in there and then it's a little bit awkward to actually fit the outer mechanism. So I open it all the way up. I slide it on and pop a screw on. And what I've also done when I've put it together, oh sorry, when I pulled it apart, is I actually I marked it up here. So I do recommend if you're doing anything in here that you do mark it so you get it at least in the ballpark when you put it back together. So it's back together. It's on my marks. And every time it opens 100%. At this point, you will find that you can adjust your idle through the little stopper screws. Another thing when you're working on these throttle bodies, I do recommend pulling this little cover off the top. And I see a lot of these VVTIs having idle issues. And it's because the little holes in here get blocked up with crap okay those tiny wee little holes so i do recommend that you check that they are nice and clean now what you have when you've got it like this there's still quite a lot of resistance so we're going to pull this side apart and have a bit of a look
So we've taken this off and you'll see in here there is a, a motor assembly. We'll take that out in a minute. And there's actually a clutch right here. There's actually a, a little clutch assembly as well. That's taken some of the resistance off the throttle cable and made it a bit nicer to work with. So there's the drive-by-wire motor assembly. It actually looks a lot like a, a, a wiper motor or a door motor or a um, electric window motor. However, you, I'm not actually spinning the motor at the moment because of that clutcher unit. Washer in the bottom if you're taking out and, and reassembling. So if you're trying to assemble this cover back on with the TPS in place, you are going to struggle. When refitting the TPS, if you were to put on the non-VVTI one, it will bolt on. However, it goes the wrong way. So you can see here, it's slightly spring-loaded. But if I turn this, pop a finger in there, not even touching. So it's going away from it. So the throttle bodies go different directions. I haven't seen that done yet, haven't seen a non-VVTI fitted to the VVTI, so let's hope we don't have that problem. Putting the, throttle the proper TPS on. If you get it wrong, it'll try to open it. That's the cor incorrect way. So it comes on, it, it loads it up a little bit. You can hear it flick when I lift it. About there. And in with the screws. And I can cheat a little bit because I can see where the screw marks used to be. I will go through one day and do a video proper setup on that VVTI throttle body. Well, there we have it. Throttle lock done. No more drive-by wire on this one. Ready to go into a boat. Now you wouldn't believe it, but I received another one of these of a jet boat. Someone's done stuff. They've done different stuff. Let's go inside and have a look and see what they've done. So we can see here we've got this mechanism here. We can see that this, the normal linkage is all gone and the big spring is gone. And we can hear it working those gears inside there and it's, it's kind of working pretty hard. bouncing okay it's the same as this one throttles closed you can still move the butterfly by hand because you've got, still got the spring-loaded mechanism inside. This one's quite smooth, not working any gears. This one is definitely working some gears. A little bit of a trade secret on marking that one.
So all I've appeared to have done is taken the spring off and moved this around to a different position. Hmm, not sure about that. Let's go to this end, pull the motor out and have a look. Careful of the little thrust washer, comes off the end of the gear there. Unnecessary. And it turns out the little fibre wash is easy to break. So a little bit of a knack to these, just to get them just right. There we go. Now this is on an aftermarket ECU, so the exact throttle setting, um, it can be calibrated and set correctly. There we go. I thought I might just pop on a new plug. There was destructive removal. And again, cleaning in here, making sure that that's, all those little holes are clean. That's for the air assisted injectors. I've had a closer look at what's going on with this. Unfortunately, I did mark it. And they've adjusted the position. Of the APS. So it's actually sitting, you can see the sensor sitting forward, but it's not getting used anyway. So that's probably not a problem. Again, I just had it, it was sort of pulling in the wrong spot. So I have to make sure that this lever here touches on the flat surface. And then it pulls. Oh. And then it pulls in the right place. Dirty. So I've marked this one up. This is now the idle throttle stop on this setup. So it can give it its base idle. Another one done, ready to go out. Oh wait, this is a problem. This keeps turning. So this one, the way they've done it, you can see it, there's some free play. There's the throttle action. And then there's the ability to turn it further. There's no actual stoppers on that throttle mechanism. It may work fine, but this one's much better. There's no backwards movement. Comes round to fully open. There's only a little bit of extra to go on the spring and it hits a stopper inside. So this is a much better way to do it than, than that one. 
Removing the motor out of this makes quite a big difference. We probably should power the motor up and I'll show you how that works. But I've got to talk to the customer about this throttle body and see what he wants to do about the way that it isn't quite ideal. The one with the proper throttle lock is much, much nicer. Righto, I did say I was going to run up this motor. Hopefully we can see it. I'll try to be a little bit quiet. So I've got, in here I've got the, the two bigger wires connected to some voltage. We're going to turn it. And you see it spinning. If I grab that gear, see the motor spins underneath it. To change direction, we just reverse polarity of the battery. It's just a motor, so it'll go the other way. But I can still grab it. And that's because there's also a clutch. So this front piece is a clutch. So, but there's the clutch. So we've just got to give that power and an earth as well. Standard deal, fuses are for pussies. It sparks. No, we're good. Here we go. Now I did just wire an engine that had no fuses for the engine uh, side of things. So I am just kidding when I say fuses are for pussies. And now theoretically, I suspect I'm not on those wires. Oh, I heard it then. Hear that? That is the clutch. There it is there. Right, let's go. And I cannot stop that now. So we've got the clutch wires and we've got the motor wires. I have now talked to the man with the second throttle body. It's gone back to him. Um, his throttle cable system has the throttle lock, so it doesn't matter about it going over center. It's gonna work just fine. Throttle body number two, the throttle lock is now on its way to the customer in the South Island. So hopefully that has explained a little bit about these throttle bodies. Another day I'll go through and do the setup video which would help some people out as well. But they're actually really simple. They work just fine with the standard computer. And as I said, if you're doing that throttle lock, it will not work, okay? With the standard ECU, you can't do the throttle lock. I actually had a little a guy recently who had trouble with his, he had a, a piggyback system or an ECU over the standard one. So the aftermarket ECU ran the engine, stock ECU run the auto. And in that situation, the throttle body must work correctly. And it must be controlled by the stock ECU. Just a little hint if you're doing that sort of job. So I hope that's been helpful. Hope it's helped some guys out. We'll talk to you again soon. Catch you later.